Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in today to my video. This is another 3D print that I've done and uh, welcome back to all my subscribers. I appreciate you tuning in and watching this other video, this new video that I'm sure you'll be impressed with. Guys, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so down below if you like the video. Stay tuned. We're going to put this model together, this Boeing 777, and it's great. It's got the magnetic stand. It looks just like this one over here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together and you can create one of your own. All right, guys, let's get to it. First, you're going to need some Gorilla Super Glue Gel. That's what I recommend. And it says to shake really well before you use it. And I'm going to start gluing some pieces here. Uh, just to let you know, I've already installed the magnets. I've super glued the magnet into the stand and also into the ring that goes around the body of our Boeing aircraft. Now, first, what I want to do is glue these engine cowls on, these little tiny engine cowls. I printed these in a silver color or gray color to make it offset the white to add more detail to look at. And I've already pre-painted some of these uh, uh, parts down below here, below the wing, the, uh, I guess the actuators for the uh, wing flaps. So we've done that already. So just apply a couple drops here, three drops. And this super glue recommends to hold it for about 30 seconds. So we'll hold that there, 30 seconds. Put a couple more drops on this side. Put this engine cowl on. This is pretty neat. It kind of reminds me of when I used to put models together when I was a kid. And I've done quite a few of them. This is much easier though, so don't let this get you discouraged. These pieces here, there's not that many and it's self-explanatory pretty much how they go together. I've got them lined up here how they go. Now, uh, what I want to do next, let's see, I guess since we're working on this piece, let's go ahead and put the main uh, middle landing gear on. These fit in here just like that. A couple drops there and drop there. I just put that, uh, the wider section toward the body and then push this down the wheel section down like it's opening into the wing uh, the landing section cover there and it kind of holds itself but we're going to glue it so it never comes out we'll do the other side and let that dry while we're on the landing gear I'll go ahead and put the nose gear on dab of glue here and just hold that on for about 30 seconds and I did get a little bit of stringing guys on this model I don't know if it was my Cura settings 3D settings or what or if it was the actual PLA material brand that I used this time but it comes off pretty well I use a file uh, to go ahead and run that over and take the stringing off and sometimes I'll run it underneath the uh, hair dryer under high heat that kind of melts them away or uh, attaches them to the main body. Next, I don't want this, this to dry up if I get to talking to you guys. All right, now here's where the 21 cents come in. To put this model together, to assemble it correctly, you need the proper weight for it to hold itself on this uh, stand at a tilted angle and be able to move it. So you need 21 cents. That's four, four nickels, one penny can fit in here. And I've made a slot into the tail section here in the inner tail section where it prints. It's kind of like a piggy bank slot. Slide one in after the other and you got to hold it upside down, the tail upside down like this. They'll slide in on top of each other, just like a bank guys. And then I do the penny last. Oops, penny didn't get in there. All right, the last one, shoot, it's in there, but not all the way. There we go. 
just kind of shake it. They don't fit themselves in there right the first time. Penny got jammed. All right. So on the penny, I'll try to roll that in there. Use some tweezers if you need to. There we go. We got them in there. Coins inside there. I don't know if you can see that. Now what we want to do is take one of our attachment spacers that slides right in there. Just make sure it fits first properly. So we'll go ahead and glue that in. Make sure you put your coins in first so that you know you need the coins in first before we glue this. All right, guys. Put that in there. It's pretty tight. It's kind of loose, but it will hold itself when the glue dries. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit to get glue on each uh, angle there that I dropped it in. And then I'll let that sit aside. All right, guys. These wheels, our engine cows are still attached okay this one has a print right here extruded from the main body that the uh the holder ring goes over like that so it can swivel your body like this we're going to go ahead and install this insert attachment block we're going to attach the front cabin on glue in there and in the front cabin here I try to get some in the corners too as well the inner corners okay push it in there and push it into the, make sure both landing gears are facing down. This one's a little rough, but looks like we got it. Just try to make sure it's tight together. I'm gonna hold this I don't want to see any air gaps in between those two seams there and the body. All right, guys, looks like we got it. Now to put on the tail section and don't forget the swivel for the stand has to go on there first. And when you put this together, guys, when you put it together and glue it, you're only going to glue the inside of this hole here where this uh, attachment shaft block goes in side because you want this ring to spin freely around there don't glue that otherwise you won't be able to spin the the uh, airplane on the stand and that's the coolest feature of this I think okay and I like to glue inside of this interior instead on the outside of the shaft because I don't want the outside of the shaft to have glue spread on here that can get on that ring so be careful of that Make sure that glue stays on the inside. Okay guys, now it's easier to hold this upside down. Put your ring on there. Make sure your tail is facing the correct way. And slide that together as tight as you can, because if you can get this uh, ring kind of snug, that will help you in holding it on the base without it swiveling by itself. So just hold that again for 30 to 
45 seconds together tight. Look at that guys, our airplanes come together. You can almost imagine it flying in the sky. Landing gear showing if you spin it up this way. It's very cool guys. Now mine says TW on the wing and home show on the body for TW home show. Be sure to check out my webpage at twhomeshow.com. But on the uh, downloadable STL files for this print, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put plain body on there. So you can, if you want, you can keep it plain or at your own uh, name in there. And I'll leave all all the links down below. I'm gonna leave links for these paint pens too. This is the easiest way to paint your 3D prints is with these pens. I've got some fine pen, uh, paint pens and some uh, wider ones. Very good. Come in lots of different assorted colors. I'll leave a link to the magnets that you'll need for your attachments and a link to Thingiverse where you can find my files here for this print. If you think it's cool, go ahead. Maybe you got a friend that's a uh, aviator fanatic or something like that they would love this print if you could print it off and they didn't have a 3d printer but you printed it because you have a 3d printer they'll be your friend for life guys okay i think we can test it at least i gotta be careful because i don't know i like it to dry overnight but for the sake of this video show it off and see if it works we're gonna try it right now okay Sweet. Guys, look at this. I'm being kind of gentle with it now because I want all the glue to dry. But look at that. You can tilt it up. I'll get you a close up view of this too. Tilt it up. You can see all the undersides. This is what you would see from the ground if, a, if you're uh, just taking off and making an embankment. Or you could tilt it the other way. The stand is very lightweight. But it's got the feet here to hold the balance and you got remember you got the 21 cents back here in the tail that kind of helps it out because what you can do is you can actually tilt it also on the stand to a certain point like that it's a little bit cocked go like that set that on a bookshelf or on your desk at work guys you're gonna get lots of questions on this where'd you get this from you printed this yourself at home on your 3D printer? Yeah, I did. Guys, thanks again for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. Be sure to subscribe. All the parts and accessories that I've purchased uh, to make this happen are gonna be in the description below. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.